thank everyone for the nice meal that we had, and why don't we give them a big hand, those who prepared the meal. It is indeed a pleasure to be here uh, among so many Republicans. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's an enchanting place for, uh, for all of us in the 9th Congressional District. And um, I just really appreciate the time that I have to speak with you. I am Danny Moore. I am running for the 9th Congressional District race. It is wide open. It is not a sprint. It is a marathon. And I am prepared to get across the finish line, but I need a lot of help from all of you. And would like to share with you today why I believe that I am the very best candidate for this race. Uh, all of us are Republicans. All of us uh, tend to say that we are uh, uh, pro-Second Amendment rights, pro-life, and uh, want to protect your tax dollars. So it becomes very important that I tell you why I believe that I am the best candidate uh, among uh, all that we have running. I'm running against uh, several, all of them, honorable men, but I believe that uh, I'm best because, uh, not just the fact that I'm a wife and a mother, but I've uh, been a public servant all my life. I taught school for 28 years in the Fulton uh, community in Callaway, where I uh, also managed to get myself elected as the very first Republican state representative in the 20th Legislative District. Thank you. It was not easy, and uh, some of my friends from Callaway are here, and I thank them too because they were very, very uh, supportive of me in that. It, we also have uh, other folks here who are running that race, and uh, we're going to have a hot race in the represented race, which is exciting because years ago we couldn't even find people to run. So in Callaway County, we have come a long, long way. I believe that the district that I've represented for eight years, I am. Uh, the most qualified because I have served eight years in the legislature, which is longer than the other, uh, the other gentleman. And it is paramount that you understand that I am ready to go to Washington, D.C. to serve you. The experience that I have, of course, is all the committees that I served on, and that is education and utilities, retirement, and many others, especially agriculture, because the 9th Congressional District is an agricultural district. Uh, I served on the Ag Committee for four years and was uh, uh, very proud to do so. Also, though, uh, the ninth is full of business, and especially small business, mom and pops, and my husband and I have a very good track record of not just being teachers, but also starting small businesses, understanding how hard it is to do that, and uh, the difficulties that you experience when you have to buy the land, uh, get the loan, <laughs> Uh, find uh, a friendly banker and stock the store and hire the people and pay the payroll taxes and make sure that the people that are working for you are making a good living wage and serving the public. All of that we have done two or three times. We uh, have a nice business in, in Boone County we're very proud of. It's a pro shop and an indoor shooting range. You must know that I am very, very pro-life and also very, very pro-Second Amendment rights, uh, but uh, it is also part of our business. I've carried legislation uh, that I'm proud that we have gotten through in the legislature to protect your Second Amendment rights. But I believe that my claim to fame in the legislature is my service on the budget. I have served in appropriations for eight years, six years of which I have been a chairman. And uh, there are six chairmen on the budget committee in appropriations, and we uh, sometimes uh, are the ones that the, the media and everyone zeroes in on. We must make tough votes. I am prepared to go to Washington, D.C. and work on the deficit. I hope you'll agree with me that we've done a great job in Missouri to turn a $1.1 billion deficit around, and now we have a mild surplus. But hopefully you agree with me as well that in the D.C. level, at the federal level, uh, we have been overspending, the deficit is too high, and it needs to come down. I am prepared to help bring it down. I've made those decisions. We must protect our borders, protect us from uh, those who would come to our country illegally, and I ask for your vote in August and November. Thanks for allowing me to speak today. God bless.